What is happening, everybody? Um, I kind of felt like I wanted to do a video. I know, uh, you guys know by now, this time of the year, this exact uh, day last year, I was uh, I checked into uh, Sierra Tucson, the treatment center in Tucson, Arizona. They do all kinds of uh, treatments and rehabilitations for everything, alcohol, drugs, uh, mental health, um, everything, everything under the sun. And you all know by now, with my super long posts of uh, reflecting back to this day last year, but I kind of felt like I wanted to do a video. Um, I kind of felt like I just had to do a video. So the one main thing that I got from Sierra Tucson when I left is the coping skills that I learned that they taught me uh, how to deal with life in general, how to deal with uh, stress, how to de deal with annoying people, <laughs> just how to deal with just basic stressors that the normal person just doesn't even really think about too much. Like, how do you deal with stress? You don't really think about that. But when you're dealing with depression, it's a whole different ballgame. It's a whole different ballgame. You don't, you can't deal with stress. You don't, you know, uh, get the stressor situation and you, you deal with it and then you just let it go. You don't do, that's not how it works when you have depression. When you have depression, it just stays inside you and it just builds up and builds up and, and it just kind of knots up inside you and you don't know how to get rid of it. You have no idea how to get rid of it. I, it sounds so silly, but I didn't know how to deal with stress. All the stress that I used to get, it, it was just building up inside of me, you know? And they taught me how to deal with uh, situations like that, just different uh, things in life that you deal with that you, normal people just, you know, the, the average person just doesn't even really think twice about, you know? But, uh, the, the day, I just, I keep replaying in my mind, the day that I checked into Sierra Tucson, the day I walked in the door was yesterday at 4 o'clock p.m. And the day, the minute, the moment I walked in the door, I took a picture of myself. And then I walked up to the front uh, counter by the lobby there. And I n I'll never forget how I felt. Um that moment in time I'll never forget how I felt ever it is that thought is just etched in my mind forever and I was actually wearing I'm actually wearing <clears throat> I'm wearing the same exact shirt as I was that day just kind of in remembrance of how I felt that day and I know you guys seen a picture of me when I that this picture that I'm talking about that I took I know you guys seen it and when I look at that picture I, and I look in my eyes in that picture, I see an empty soul and somebody that's so, I see, I see misery in my eyes. I see sadness. I see a lack of, even a lack of, there was zero hope for anything. When I, when I walked in the door, my, my frame of mind was this place ain't going to do nothing for me. I'll go through the steps. You know, I'll go through all the steps and I'll do all this whole thing and it's not going to do nothing for me. I'm going to leave this place the same way I felt. That was exactly what I was saying to myself. It was such negativity that I was saying to myself. Instead of pumping myself up full of positive thoughts like, oh, this is going to help me. I'm finally here. That wasn't even a thought in my mind. The thought in my mind was this place ain't going to do nothing for me. And that was just part of the negative thinking that I've always had my whole life. And man was I wrong man was I wrong and that place literally saved my life and I cannot I cannot say enough good things about that place I really can't because it literally saved my life and my determination was another part of it my determination of wanting help so desperately wanting the help that I need. I was so determined that all my, I, I've posted on Facebook a, a gazillion times. 
I tried reaching out to people. I tried everything that I possibly could here in my power to help, and I didn't know what to do. You know, then finally, one thing led to another. Um, I was blessed with the opportunity to, to go to Sierra Tucson, and that was my lifesaver, literally. Like, no bullshit, literally. And uh, I'm just so grateful for having spent three weeks there. I'm just so grateful because I have a whole new outlook on life. I have new coping skills to deal with different stressors in life. Um, <clears throat> I'm so much more of a different person these days. It's it's incredible. It really is. The transformation is almost like unheard of. Um, and I think it's partially due to two things, two significant things happened last year to me. And one was going through... One was my three-week stay at Sierra Tucson. And the number two thing that I think really changed my outlook on life is my accident that I had on July 14th last year. That was another significant thing that happened to me. And actually, this my Cherokee. It's right here. I mean, <laughs> you, you don't think I'm a lucky person right now. Think twice because... I was doing just just an idea of the the impact that this accident made on me. Think about this for a second. I want you to really think about this. I was doing 75 miles an hour on the highway. Okay? And I hit a parked car on the side of the road like on an angle. Okay? Flipped and rolled five times. Landed on my roof, slid off into the grass all with no seatbelt on. Think about that for a second. Think about how lucky I am to be alive today. And those two significant things of going through Sierra Tucson and my accident gave me a whole new perspective on life. And it really kind of hit the reset button for me. Like literally hit the reset button. And I am so grateful for that opportunity that I was given by the good grace of the guy above. Um, I think my two guardian angels had a lot to do with it too. Um, but I, I'm a lucky guy. I really am. And there's not many people in this world that get a second chance um, in life. There's not many people that get this opportunity that I have. Those are the two significant things that really gave me a whole new outlook on life and I'm I'm pretty grateful these days I'm pretty grateful you know if they always say if you can turn back time and if you can change something what would you change you know you know that age-old saying you know or that quote um, I wouldn't change nothing I, I wouldn't change a damn thing I would keep the same troubles that I've been through the same headaches that I've been through the same problems that I've been through I would go through all my depression problems again I would go through it all again because them problems that I've had and my troubles and my mental health problems and all that stuff made me the strong person that I am today. That's That made me to the guy I am today. So I wouldn't change anything. And if uh, you you tell that to somebody and you, you know, they say, oh, I would change this and change that. No, you, that's, you, you really can't look at it like that because that made you the person that you are today, you know? Um, May life ain't a bed of roses, and you're always going to have problems, but it's not the problems in life, it's how you deal with the problems is what matters, you know? And as long as you learn something from them problems, you know, and you have a positive, like if you could take a positive out of a negative situation, you won. You know, you absolutely won. Like, like my accident, you know, that was a huge negative, huge, ginormous negative thing that happened to me in my life. Instead of it dragging me down and just ruining me, I mean this this was like a this was like my my child. <laughs> Literally, it was like my child. This this truck, you know, I've had it for twenty years, and I've been through so much with this truck. So much, it's insane. And uh, and losing it's like losing it's like losing my child, you know. But it's not affecting me like like people think it would have. It's really not affecting me um, 
all that bad, you know, because of my coping skills that I learned and I'm able to kind of shut that off and not let it ruminate in my head over and over. You know what I mean? So, um, anyway, I just wanted to shoot a little video and get you guys get this out like on a video of, you know, everything that was, uh, kind of on my, my mind lately. There is a lot on my mind and, uh, I've been doing a lot of meditating lately to kind of bring myself down and um, some grounding skills, some, some coping skills that I've learned is uh, to ground myself. And one of the, the best coping skills that I have to ground myself when I find my mind getting all scattered brained and thinking about everything in the past that's happened, all like the negative stuff that's happened one of the grounding skill, one of the coping skills that I use a lot is uh, to ground myself, is to scan my environment that I'm in, to scan whatever room that I'm in and wherever I am, just to scan it, and uh, just just kind of scan the room, just just start like looking at stuff like the shelves, you know, I'm looking at shelves, I'm looking at my other shelf back there, I'm looking at my Cherokee, the two lights on the front. You know, and you just kind of scan the whole room around you. And uh, it just helps bring you back to the moment right now instead of your mind going all back here. Your mind, now your mind is back here in the moment thinking about right here. And I do that a lot. And it really helps me. Even if I'm sitting on my couch in in my apartment, I, I just I just start scanning the room and just start naming stuff that I see. Like anything that I see. You know, I just, I just start naming it and I just go through like probably a list of about 10 to 15 things and it brings me right back to the moment. And it's something that's been helping me a lot lately. And lately I've been doing a lot of meditating and just kind of bringing my whole body and soul back to, you know, the present moment and stop thinking about everything around me. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. I didn't want to... Uh, I don't really want to make a big long video because most people are not going to f like get to the end of this video. But if you do get to the end of this video, um, I appreciate you very much. Um, you guys have a great day and take care of yourself first. Always take care of yourself. Always, always make time to take care of yourselves first. And then you can take care of everybody else around you. Okay? That's my advice for today. Anyway, have a great, have a great day, guys. See you.